Kirby. So this is kind of a bittersweet day for me because I have to put Kirby up for adoption today. He is a distemper survivor, so he does have a neurological little tick, and you can see it in his jaw. Um, let's see if we can get you to see exactly what he does. Curb, show him. It doesn't bother him. He is a happy, happy dog, um, but he will always probably have a little tick in his jaw and a little wobble to his giddy up. Hey, Kirby. Curb. Kirby. Come here, sweetie. You wanna play? You wanna play? Let's show him. You can see his jaw. Hold on a minute. It does not stop him, though. This dog um, was very, very, very sick with distemper, and he's just one of those that wouldn't give up. He's the little engine that could, and he eventually beat it. We have quite a few dogs that we've nursed through it and um, we keep in touch with all of them and, and they do very very well. Um, this little one is just about as sweet as they come. He gets along with everybody, loves people. Right Kirby? Show him your little jaw tick. Show him. See? He says that's what I do. But it doesn't stop me, and I'm super, super, super happy all the time. Look at her. Look at him. Excuse me. See, I'm not a girl. Look at that face. <laughs> he hangs out in my office with a couple other distemper survivors, and he's just going to do just fine. He's um, probably about, I'd say, six weeks post any kind of antibiotics or symptoms. So in my experience, he's ready to go. I just don't want to let him go because I love this little guy. You can't go wrong with him. If you're looking for a little peanut, he only weighs maybe, how oh, I'd say, just probably right at 10 pounds or a little bit under. He's a couple years old and just, uh, he's perfect with his little tick and everything. Right, Kirby? Say goodbye. Say, that's me, I'm Kirby.